The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Coral Glades High takes on Cooper City High tonight on School Duel. School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Coral Glades High versus Cooper City High in what should be quite a showdown. Now, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. For the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. They are anxiously waiting. Our opening round is called First Strike. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Now, any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Hands on the buzzers. First question deals with four letters. What four-letter style of rock music forms a fashion movement when it comes after steam, Yes, Gabrielle? Punk. Yes, very good, and we are off. Let's go. <laughs> Reptiles. Though they are characterized by prehensile tails and eyes that can move independently of one another, what family of about 20 species of lizards is best known for their ability to change the color? Max? Chameleon. Yes, very good. <laughs> Ancient history. This ancient Egyptian queen was known for her alliance with Julius Caesar and later Mark Anthony. Yes, Josh. Cleopatra. Very good. <laughs> Musicians. She was a classically trained foodist before bursting onto the hip hop scene with her third album, Cause I Love You. Identify this musician known for the songs Tempo, Juice, and Truth. Reina. Lizzo. Very good. <laughs> title characters. What title character who was jilted at the altar when she learns that her intended husband is already married to the deranged Bertha finally returns and marries Mr. Rochester, who is blind and disabled? Jaden. Hester Prynne. Incorrect. Cooper City? We're talking about Jane Eyre. All right, a question about spelling. If you spray a bit of perfume in a corner, it will diffuse and the scent will eventually permeate the whole room. Spell the word permeate. Max. P-E-R-M-E-A-T-E, permeate. Very good, excellent. All right, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here it goes. On average, this phenomenon releases one gigajoule of energy each time it occurs. Reina. Lightning. Lightning is correct, good job. And the scientific study of lightning is called Fulminology, and the fear of lightning is called astrophobia. All right, sports. First used in 1982 by announcer Brent Musburger, what is the alliterative two-word nickname for the NCAA Division I men's basketball tournament, which mostly takes place during the third? Gabrielle? March Madness. Yes, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Definitions. Though it sounds like an amphibian, what word is defined by Scholastic.com as the reorganization of voting districts by the party in order? Yes, Jaden. Gerrymandering. Very good. TV locations. What fictional town is the setting for the animated TV show, The Simpsons? Max. Springfield. Yes, good job. Oh, that horn means the end of the first strike round. We do have Cooper City leading. They have 60 points. Coral Glades has 30. We'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs>
Parents with autism sometimes are overlooked. It makes us feel important that she sees him. Miss Joanne always has the brightest smile. She makes him feel at home. I ask him, what is it that you need today, Joseph? Sweet Pickle, sweet as well. We're friends, and I love him. She talks to him directly, just making sure he's heard. It makes his day a lot easier. If I can make him smile every day, I will. I will for <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. The first round of action ended with Cooper City leading. They have 60 points and Coral Glades has 30 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Reyna. I'm a junior. I'm team captain. Go Jags! Hi, I'm Maven. I'm a senior. Go Jags! Hey, my name is Jaden. I'm a senior. Go Jags! Hi, I'm Max. I'm a senior and I'm the team captain. Go Cowboys! Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a senior and go Cowboys! I'm Josh. I'm a junior and go Cowboys! Hi, I'm Matan. I'm a junior and an alternate and go Cowboys! Favorite subject in school? I like math, I guess. Oh. Like, pretend you're just like, oh my god, you got a question right. You're so smart. What do you do? Yes. Wait, no, we have to like, like act. We have to like do something funny. Like, no, not now. Wait. <laughs> Cowboys, ride to victory. Go Cowboys! Oh, I love it. All right, let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> and now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the Joust. It is presented by Public Supermarkets. Now, here a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. Now, the winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and, of course, all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it's time to Joust. Our first players competing are Reyna and Max. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question. Again, it's worth 10 points. What 2008 movie with an alliterative title has a 2018 sequel subtitled Here We Go Again and concerns, yes, Reyna? Mamma Mia. Yes, very good. All right. Coral Glades, these questions are for you, and the following bonus questions all deal with movies with alliterative titles. Bonus question number one, what 2016 musical movie romance set in Los Angeles stars Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone? Maven? La La Land. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two, this first movie in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, what 2005 origin story explores how Bruce Wayne became a vigilante superhero? Maven? The Dark Knight Rises. Incorrect, it's Batman Begins. Bonus question number three. What classic Japanese film tells the story of a septet of feudal warriors protecting a village from bandits? I'm sorry, the answer is Seven Samurai. All right, Maven and Gabrielle, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question, it's worth 10 points. Often said to be the root cause of all the others, which of the theological seven deadly sins is sometimes called hubris and can also refer to a group of lions? 
Yes, Gabrielle. Pride. Very good, excellent. Now we're with Cooper City. And the following bonus questions all deal with the seven deadly sins. Bonus question number one, meaning laziness or lack of work, what deadly sin is, Gabrielle? Sloth. Very good. Bonus question number two, due in part to a line from Othello describing jealousy as a monster with eyes of a certain hue, what colors often associated with the sin of envy? Max. Green. Yes, very good. Bonus question number three. This deadly sin means to overindulge or to be excessive in eating and drinking. Max? Gluttony. Yes, very good. All right, my last two are Josh and Jaden. Come on down, it's your turn to joust. Here's your jostle question. Again, it's worth 10 points. What European peninsula contains the British overseas territory of Gibraltar as well as the countries of Andorra, Portugal, and Spain? Yes, Josh? Uh, the Iberian Peninsula. Yes, very good. We're back with Cooper City. Cooper City, the following bonus questions all deal with peninsulas. Bonus question number one. In what North American country would you find peninsulas called the Yucatan and Baja California? Josh. Mexico. Yes, very good. Here's your second bonus question. What U.S. state is made up of the Upper Peninsula and the Lower Peninsula, which is often said to look like a mitten? Gabrielle. Michigan. Yes, very good. Here's your third bonus question. What peninsula is divided by a demilitarized zone along the 38th parallel into a constitutional? Yes, Josh? Korean. Yes, very good. All right, there's my horn, and that means the end to the Jowls. Cooper City is still leading. They have 140 points. Coral Glades has 50 points. But don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. Lights. Camera. Action. I don't know. I've always just heard that. Now we're safe. Ah! But make sure you don't run out of power. Noted. Hello and welcome to Broward Teen News, Cypress Bay High School Edition, West Broward Edition, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High Edition. We're at Cooper City High School. And Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. High 
School's Match Wits. Today's game has Coral Glades High competing against Cooper City High School. Currently, Cooper City is leading. They have 140 points. Coral Glades has 50 points. All right, it's now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Coral Glades is trailing, they get to go first while Cooper City will wait outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with M as in Michael. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter M as in Michael, and each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So, here comes rapid action, Coral Glades. Cue music and let's begin. Academic subject that includes calculus and algebra. Reina. Math. An embalmed human body, perhaps from ancient maven. Mummy. A period of 1,000 years. Reina. Millennium. Olympic event in which runners race for 26.2 miles. Jaden. Marathon. A candle holder used during Hanukkah. Maven. Menorah. American playwright who wrote Death of a Salesman and The Crucible. The three classes of rock are sedimentary, igneous, and Jaden? Metamorphic. Major golf tournament held each April in Augusta, Georgia. Detroit record label that churned out hits in the 1960s. Maven. I'm GMA. Our home galaxy. Reyna. Milky Way. Great job, Coral Glades. Now let's hear it for Coral Glades High. And with a little TV magic, let's bring in Cooper City High. And welcome back, Cooper City. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with M as in Michael. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter M as in Michael. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and begin. Academic subject that includes calculus and algebra. Max. Math. An embalmed human body, perhaps from ancient Egypt. Max. Mummy. A period of 1,000 years. Josh. Millennium. Olympic event in which runners race for 26.2 miles. Max. Marathon. A candle holder used during Hanukkah. Josh. Menorah. American playwright who wrote Death of a Salesman and The Crucible. The three classes of rocks are sedimentary, igneous, and Josh. Metamorphic. Major golf tournament held each April in Augusta, Georgia. Detroit record label that churned out hits in the 1960s. Our home galaxy. Gabrielle. Milky Way. All right, very good, Cooper City. We got you all your questions. All right, we only have a few questions that you all missed. American playwright who wrote Death of a Salesman and The Crucible is Arthur Miller. We also have major golf tournament held each April in Augusta, Georgia. That is the Masters Tournament. And Detroit record label that churned out hits in the 1960s, Motown Records. All right, and that ends the rapid action round. We still have Cooper City holding on to their lead over Coral Glades. Our current score is 210 to 120, but let's take a short break and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Yes. You start. <laughs> we started fostering Kyle when he was six years old. I knew that routine was important for him. Dad, your turn. We started going to Chick-fil-A every Saturday. <laughs> every Saturday. Now, Miss Elizabeth. When your adoption day came, we got the honor of being in the courtroom with you. The judge actually called us out, too, for being a little too loud. <laughs> Having a big crowd cheering him on was really special to us. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible.
back with School Duel, and we've got a good game going as Cooper City is holding on tightly to their lead over Coral Glades. Our current score is 210 to 120. All right, it's now time for the final showdown, and this is the last round. Our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are worth 20 points each. So just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can't steal. So this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with prefixes. The music term octave, the month October, and the geometric shape octagon all start with a prefix, Max? Eight. Titles, roughly meaning king, what title was held by Mongolian rulers, including, yes, Gabrielle? Khan. Fast capitals, what is the capital city of the state of Virginia? Josh. Coral Glades? Reina. Richmond. Math. What mathematical base uses only the numbers one and zero? Max. Binary. The government, appointed in 2005, who is the current Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court? Gabrielle. John Marshall. Incorrect, Coral Glades. John Roberts. Medicine, what kind of injury can be classified as first degree all the way up to Reina? Burns. French, associated with the film genre, what French word means black in English? Josh. Noir. Novellas. It features a donkey named Benjamin, a horse named Boxer, and pigs named Squealer and Napoleon. Identify this novella by, yes, Maven. Animal Farm. Landmarks. What African country's famous landmarks include Lake Nasser, the Great Pyramid of Giza, and Yes, Gabrielle? Egypt. Abbreviations. In international diplomacy, what organization does UN stand for? Maven. United Nations. Geographic spelling. Correctly spell the capital city of Canada. Josh. No. Coral Glades. Reina. O-N-T-A-R-I-O. Incorrect. It's O-T-T-A-W-A. Inventions. Benjamin Franklin is generally credited with inventing what type of glasses that are made up of two lenses? Gabrielle. Bifocal. Artist. He painted the old guitarist and Guernica and developed the cubist style. Name the Spanish artist. Max. Picasso. Geometry. What is the geometry term for an angle measuring exactly pi over two? Max. A uh, right angle. World cities. The treaty of this city ended the Astro-Turkish War in 1739. Identify this capital and largest city of Serbia. Jaden? I was going to say Paris. Incorrect, Cooper City. Gabrielle? Belgrade. Mythology. In Greek myth, what mortal gorgon was killed by Perseus and could Max? Medusa. Highways. What interstate highway is the major north-south link between cities on the U.S. East Coast running, Gabrielle? I-95. Cosmetics. Sharing its name with a part of a building that connects to the ground, what makeup product is used to cover flaws and create even skin tone? Max. Foundation. Companies. Which e-commerce company, initially an online bookstore, has grown, yes, Josh? Amazon. Monarchs. Though her birth name was Sophie, by what name is the longest reigning empress in Russian history most commonly known? Get Josh. Catherine. Authors. What English author wrote the poem titled If, the novels Captains, Courageous, and Kim, and the short story collection The Jungle Book? Max? Hans Christian Andersen. Incorrect. Coral Glades? I'm sorry, the answer is Kipling. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as Cooper City continue to hold on to their lead over Coral Glades, going on to ending the score with 490 to 200. Congratulations to Cooper City. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Great job to everyone, so let's hear it for both schools. All right, after
this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about schools involved and watch past shows. And please remember to hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as North Miami Beach High takes on Miami Central High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. <laughs>